So here I am, getting ready to make mango and milk. So I'm gonna mix the mango with the milk. Oh, blend it like. So I'm gonna use my Julie mango. This way. Nice Julie mango. Woo! I don't want nobody to judge me and say, I want me to do. All of us has done this sometime or another. We see something on social media and we decide that so we're going to try it ourselves. Sometime it come out good. We don't know how we go or um, we're gonna come out anyway because we don't taste what they do. We only see it and they say it tastes good. And then when we blend it, um, it come out tastes good good life you say yo this tastes good you know so i saw this um zazan called me and tell me man i eat that he drunk um some um mango with tin milk and they told him what was in it so he said definitely have to try it so we run go buy mango two tin of milk and yes i am a diabetic i'm not supposed to drink a lot of sweet but what i did drink a little bit um i didn't put too much sugar in it either you know, right. we just have to try it, honestly. Juice and the people them say a milk and mango. You put in it. I mean, no, no, of course, we are saying I should not eat, drink it because it's too sweet. But I'm not gonna drink a lot. I'm gonna try it. So, you know, mostly I wanna taste it and see. And normally, you know, sometimes we eat it. And the media, we wanna try it. some food, you see. And we really wanna try the food as well. What I'm going to do? I'm just gonna blend it. Well, you guys are going to see Yo. what I do. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think I'm going to do only two mango. Two mango. No. Well, I want to know. And then I'm going to put my my little um, vanilla and little sasha um, lemon and almond mm. it look like we're cutting plastic mango life is just dull <laughs> sorry it's real julie mango honestly um, I wonder they have, do they have fl plastic uh, mango? Hard card, it's trendy, trendy something. Oh, Alright. So you know what I'm You know, we always have water problem. Cut the other one. Remember to get your tickets to watch our play called It's Not Over. KAG Runaway Bay, July the 7th. Make it a date and don't be late. Call for your tickets right now. 419 35 35. On, on July the 14th, we are at Chill Spot Lawn, back by Papa Lamont. We have one of a special guest from the community, uh, Marcia from Marcia Wholesale and Ghost to Store, right? in Mill Street in Golden Grove you can't afford to miss this one Marcia is going to be in our play and people what we're trying to do is to put people from the community you don't have to go to um, school of drama or you know go to the um, Edna Miley to pursue you and we know you have the dream of becoming a great actors and, and, and comedians and whatnot so what we do we can put you in our place and you know so this young lady from in our community you know she owned her own OCL Marcia and um, you know she said Mr. Handsome I would love to be in your place so we find a spot for her in the play that you're gonna come and see and we have a young man from the community as well so people come out uh, come out and see this wonderful play called it's not over gospel musical enjoy the video Oh, that nice. Black marina that. Black marina that. Yep. With the black shorts. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. so, as I see that milk right there, I remember when I was growing up, my God, I used to drink all this thin and this milk. And I used to fold it up back with water and shake it up. And put back the two little pieces of paper over there and cock it up because they don't want to know what you're going on. And I remember a couple of times when I, I, you know, I was I was the milk thief in my house. And I would drink the milk out when nobody was looking. And I remember one night, you know, I would wake up and I went to the outside when it was the bathroom. Coming out of the bathroom inside. So when I went outside to use the bathroom, you know, people. I come back in and you know, know the life of me why I didn't just go to bed go in a little kitchen and take up the tin, tin and milk put it on my head and when I come so the thick and then I make milk good now bitty milk you so thick and I remember man, when I suck out that milk I suck out that roach out of the milk hey They smell nice. Mm -hmm. Come down and show them. It smells <laughs> Alright. So that is milk. Trust me, right here, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how it's going to taste milk and my dog. I, I just let me say before we bridge tell me about it and say it's refreshing with ice. I'm mean, gonna try it so <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna come. It got a little bit thick right there. So um, I went and get a little bit of ice and put it in because he never mentioned nothing about ice. He said just blend it. Make sure what he said when when I, if like if I'm putting it in the fridge, don't make it cool, just you know, like chip up some ice and, and, and um, drink it with it. So what I I do is blend it. Put the ice the whole time. And, and you know, Amy's always with me anytime I'm blending, cooking, or whatever. So you know, this is kind of a little bit thick right here, so I'm kind of putting it in the water. Um, you know, kind of make me soft. Trust me. Mm. I put a little bit of um, almond flavor. I didn't get any vanilla. But yeah, yo, trust me. But, yo. Mm. With ice? Oh, God.